what's next for you guys with, with, with video? Uh, how do you top this? <laughs> That's so funny you say that because we thought to ourselves, how the hell do we top this next $20 million. Time? Dollar yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, it, truthfully, we, we, there, there, was, there was a couple of things behind this. We wanted to show people that this can be done. And comparative to budget for Spider and the Fly to this, we were very low budget, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, in comparison to the two. And, and so I, I really encourage people to embrace video, even if it's taking your iPhone and, and doing a market update. Just yeah. and in being in this business my entire life, we have constantly had little things nipping at us and a little bit less relevancy for the realtor. And... I think that video will give agents an opportunity to become the center of the transaction. Not only just the transaction, but before. They can have a voice before because, let's face it, it's, it's our industry that has the local knowledge base about what goes on in each market. And there's no better way to create an emotional connection with the consumer than putting somebody on camera and having them talk about things that most people won't know about. So. Well, I you know. agree with you, although I would say I think that the agent, the realtor, is still the center of the transaction. And in fact, where there's so much information that you can find out there online, you know, all these different sources, you don't really know what's real, what's not real, what's current, you know, and in a way it actually makes the agent more valuable because they help you organize and decipher and, you know, find out, like, what's the right information and how to go about the process. The difference is agents have never been good about communicating that. They don't showcase their skills or their market knowledge or, you know, the great creative things they can do, you know, marketing a property. And so video is, can be used in so many different ways to showcase your business, your abilities, your knowledge, showcase properties and do, you know, real estate marketing. So it can be anything from doing neighborhood videos, doing a biography video, doing a branding video on yourself in your office or, you know, whatever your, your brand is. And it can also be property videos. It can be interviews with your clients and do testimonial videos. I mean, there's so many ways that you can use video to strengthen your communication about what you do and what your skill set is and why, you know, clients <coughs> work with you and give people an opportunity to learn more about a property or an area. And we did that. You saw the behind-the-scenes video yes. we did intentionally. Right. I have it right you here. Know. I have it queued up. I have it right there. I, I will share that in the blog post when I, when I, when I publish this. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say that that's a that's a good example on how to, you know, talk about a property and do it. And I, you know, I would just leave with the fact that I think this is for us. It's going to be something we do on every listing. The quality or the caliber of it will vary, obviously, based sure. upon the property and you know the price range. And so it's it's something that I think that people should do. And to her point, it it allow people to be part of that discussion early on, and I think that in five years, the conversation we'll having will be right now will actually be, you know, it's going to be everybody's doing it in some capacity. So. I, I agree. So I agree. Kudos to you guys. I look forward to you guys creating more kind of unique videos. I'd love to see you guys do something in this vein for for the community, or like you said, an interview. Interview some of the folks in your area. What. Ask them what, why they like to live here. I would love to see you guys maybe do something like that um, because I think uh, you, you guys have the right creative vision, the right eye for what a consumer wants, especially knowing how much of a hand you had in producing this with the idea and everything. So, so good luck. On behalf of Christian and Phil, you know, for Welcome Matt, thank you guys for, uh, for having us, I mean, for, for being here, and uh, we'll see you online. Sounds good. Thanks, thank really you. Appreciate it. You got it. Bye-bye.